mobile architecture. to the mobile architecture episode been excited about it for a while been teasing it so here we go in today's episode I'm going to talk about a few different things um, first off what is mobile architecture the basics um, secondly why do it thirdly what might be in it for you the viewer why you would want to watch and last but not least uh, what platform I've kind of decided to move forward with what I'm currently shopping for and what I'm going to do in the end, hopefully. So to start, what is mobile architecture? Um, the term kind of defines itself, but um, I'll go into it a little bit. Architecture obviously is a dwelling, a roof over your head, a place to live, and mobile means to be able to move it. Um, it's not a new idea. Um, it's been happening a long time, like the, the Native Americans would travel around in their teepees, set those up. Um, We've also been traveling in like camper vans and campers, RVs um, for decades now. And there's also this new movement of like van life and bus life where people are converting sprinter vans and buses into pieces of mobile architecture. And I think it's great. And I'm excited to just get into it. So why do mobile architecture? Why have I decided to take this on? I've decided that that is a really complicated subject and I don't want to get into it too much on this episode. I've covered it some in, the previ in a previous episode and it'll be talked about a lot more here to come. Um, but for today's episode, I just want to leave it at I'm doing this in pursuit of sustainability, in pursuit of presence, and to continue the unifying work of some of our true OGs like Mr. Rogers and Tupac Shakur. I like to think of like Han Solo and he always had his Millennium Falcon and he could just go take care of business wherever it needed to be done. Um, I almost see it in that light. What's in it for you, the viewer? Well, there's tons of bus and van builds on YouTube, I understand. Um, I'm going to treat this more of almost like a class. Like I want to get input and and provide options and, and let this be a place where people can learn about how to build a van or, or what all the options might be for building a piece of mobile architecture. This is going to be about the the actual building, the, the thought process that goes into it, the design of one of these things. And it's going to be a build as we go type deal. I don't even have the van yet or the bus, or well, I should say that to later because I, I didn't tell you what I'm gonna do yet. I don't have the vehicle yet. Um, but it's going to be a, a team effort. We're gonna do this together. So that's why I think it'll be fun for a viewer to watch. Also, I'm an architect by trade. I'm a designer by trade. Not better than you by any means, but that is kind of my specialty. I do love building things, habitats, spaces. That's what I do. That's my, that's my gift, I think. So um, that's what I'm gonna put my effort into and I hope that you get some benefit out of it. And uh, that's what it's here for as a resource. So let's get down to it. What did I decide to move forward with? What, after all the research, what type of vehicle am I gonna go with? And it's gonna be a shuttle bus. Yeah, on a Ford Econoline chassis. I put a lot of research into this, like I said. At first I kinda thought like a uh, truck camper, right? Like, cause you get a good strong, you know, 2500 truck that's gonna run forever and a camper, throw it on back. But I didn't like that you couldn't go from the cab to the truck. And uh, also in thinking of my son and my wife, that's just not big enough, I think. So um, I moved from there onto a, a van. I was thinking of van. Um, I've always been a, you know, I'm kind of a Ford. I prefer Ford, I think. So I was thinking the Ford Econoline van. And I, I went and looked at an ambulance that had like a bump top. Um, so it's even taller than a regular Econoline van. 
and I got in it, I drove in everything, but it just wasn't big enough again. I couldn't stand up inside, and uh, I felt like that was a big, you might as well be able to stand up in one of these things. But it all came back to the, the Ford Econoline van because I see so many of, of those traveling around, you know, all over this place as, I, as I've been driving around. Um, the Ford Econoline van is the, the basic chassis for so many RVs, ambulances, uh, like I said, shuttle buses, regular buses. They put anything and everything on this chassis, and I think it's because it's a great chassis. Um, it's good, strong, tried and true. The engines they put in them are all pretty much good for the most part. The one I like, the one I've heard the best things about is the 7.3 Power Stroke Diesel. And so I'm kind of looking for one of those in a shuttle bus just because I heard from what I've researched, they just run forever and just good, strong vehicle. So I am shopping for one now as we speak. The plan will be to, to park one up here in the driveway, uh, use the garage as a you know a little station to fix it up in the spring or summertime when we're ready to get out of here, just drive it on out the driveway and that'll be all she wrote. So I'm really looking forward to getting into it. I'm looking forward to finding the van, starting to build the van, design the van with you guys. Um, we're gonna discuss the interior, the exterior, the roof, the deck, the e everything, all, all kinds of stuff. And then if you have any questions, I'll make a video about that too. So again, this is meant to be a resource for anyone who is thinking about van life. Feel free to hit me up with any questions, um, whether it be in the comments or just email me. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here to be a resource. So thanks everyone and 